I am playing the character of Duck in Resident Evil, and he is a leader of this small group of human survivors in Raccoon City who are just trying to like not die, basically. And he's kind of keeping them together, and they're a very, uh, you know, they're they're aggressive and feral because they've survived barely. So they're kind of a group of of they're a group of people who are just you know surviving on their wits with whatever ammunition and swords they have left. What's it like being in Raccoon City, one of the most iconic locations in video games? Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome being, you know, the Hive is pretty awesome because they have the all, all that rebuilt. There's a lot of throwback to that. Uh, and when you see the movie and you see how big it is and, and you see how destroyed Raccoon City is and then you, we're, we're shooting in these cool big old wrecked buildings where everything is just crumbling down. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. Great. Now, uh, what are you guys doing to up the ante in this movie? Well, this movie feels a lot bigger than all the previous movies in terms of they still got it's got the same amount of crazy zombie scares and kind of horror and you're kind of on your toes about it, but in terms of action and scope, it's huge. And he's made it really, really big. And it's like they've put all the big action sequences they had in the previous ones are all in loaded into this one. And this one's got this really, there's a really great human element to this because you've got these survivors who are like the world is at its end and you got these people you want to root for. And then with Alice's character, they kind of explore a lot more depth and it's with in terms of you really feel for a character lot in this movie, which I think is adds to the, a layer to the whole thing. Now, did you play any of the video games to prepare yourself yeah, yeah. for this role? Well, I, I used to play the video games when I was younger, yeah, yeah, but I used to find I couldn't play them, man, because they used to scare me. <laughs> Remember the very first one, you're going through the house, mm. and like, and you're just exhausted, and I play it till two in the morning, and I find myself just like, I couldn't sleep then. Right. So I actually, I, I love watching the movies because I find the video games would just like, get in, into my belly, and then you're just, and then you have to get you know, you know, you have to go through this section, but you know something's going to come at you, and you just don't want to do it. And you're like, oh, dude, you press pause, and you're like, oh, for God's sake! All right. Then it's then like the, sometimes you do it and turn down the sound on purpose just so you can get through that area. <laughs> so I was like, did you do that? Oh, all the time, especially with those dogs, they scare the crap yeah, out of me. Yeah, yeah, and, you, and then you can hear it coming, and you're like, this is just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, Resident Evil 7 is going to be out for VR. Do you have any thoughts about virtual reality gaming? Um, I haven't really done it. I haven't really done virtual reality gaming that much, so I don't really know, but it seems quite cool, you know, I have to say. Um, but that, that's that's going to be where you can actually kind of move yourself through it, right? I've only kind of done that with like some of the kind of tennis games, but I think it could be very cool. But I can see people like running into walls and stuff, right? Because you see something, you just like run away, and next thing you, and you can't see what's going on. Mm -hmm. So that'd be my, you know, you want to play it in a room which is filled with cushions. Yes, right? Yeah, like bumpers. On <laughs> yeah, the walls. yeah, yeah, exactly, right, yeah. yeah. Why do you think uh, Resident Evil is so successful as both a movie franchise and a game franchise? I think because it's one of the few that... I think it's because Paul and Mila have done such a good job because you care about Alice's character. She's so iconic. She's awesome. She's badass. And they've got a great mixture of keeping that energy and feel of being in a computer game where you're not quite sure it's going to happen and you know stuff's coming at you. But then there's like this action at the same time. And I think it just... I don't know, they're always fun to watch, right? And they're fun, but they're also a little bit kind of scary. And it's like, yeah, yeah.